My position is head of football operations at Dundalk Football Club. Um, I've recently retired six months ago there from professional football and I've transitioned on to the other side in terms of the business side. And key responsibilities are from the top down in terms of first team. Um, we've got transfers, we've got organisation of first team, we've got um, scouting players, network, research and um, doing all your due, due diligence that way. From a playing side and going over onto this side is in the introduction of stats, GPS, um, every bit of data relating to players now, um, wellness of players, their their medical, the management of their medical records, their injuries, their monitoring of how they're feeling day to day, um, and correlating all that to give you efficient use. So that's something in the last decade that's really grown, um, and I suppose with either pro, it brings it all together in one place. Like I said, it was it was more between staff and when you're managing twenty odd professional players, stuff can slip through the net. Um, you don't want it to be, but that's the realistic um, scenario of it all. Is that not everything? People will forget things. People will move on to the next problems because someone's coming in with a bigger injury or a bigger problem and they just the physio the S and C or someone might have forgotten that he said I he was feeling fairly fatigued this morning, slipped through the net. A player then won't want to hide either because they'll look like they're they don't want to look vulnerable or, you know, weak. Um so then it can slip through the net and they can end up going out training and picking up an injury. Whereas with either pro when you have that common communication and that common link all in one place, it's a lot harder for information like that to slip through unnoticed um, or for somebody to miss it or miscommunicate because you'll have three, four different sets of boys all saying, seeing the same thing. You can have all this information, but it's what you do with it is the biggest thing. So if you can manage it right, you can have your players in prime peak condition. Um, and that is the best thing. You can not overtrain them, not undertrain them, and have them close to that perfect line as as you can. Once you can, I suppose, evaluate all that information for each individual. Um, if a player's undertrained and they haven't done as much and you haven't noticed it, then you're not going to get their fitness is going to be off. The risk of picking up injuries, everything like that. But if you if you've noticed that and you said right, we need to get them up a level because that data in front of you is showing that, then you know, you're correcting that straight away. If a player's load and their their data is showing that they're doing too much, they'll benefit from a bit of rest. We are obviously we're we're new into the system is that after continued use we'll be able to see what value we are getting from each player. Um I think that's that's a big thing for football clubs. Because when we're working on budgets, you know, and you're stretching them to, to the maximum, you need to be getting value for money because you need to be, we're looking to perform, we're looking to win leagues, we're looking to play in Europe, get back into group stages in Europe. But to do that, um, it's such a competitive league here at the moment. We need to be getting maximum value for as much of our budget as we can. 